Hey there, what's up? This is Shekhar Suman here from Biotechnica, the one and only place where all things biosciences is talked about. And today's video, we are talking about biopharma salaries. Yes, something which is less talked about, lesser clarity. And today we are going to talk about biopharma salaries comparison in between India and USA. And it's going to be very interesting and exciting. And here is something very unique about uh, our comparison. Of course, you cannot compare apple with oranges. You look at this in India, you get salaries in rupees. There you get it in dollars. But what if we know all the things about the biopharma industry in USA and India and then take a better decision on where we want to be in future. So let's get started with the video. All right. So welcome back. Here is what we're going to talk about biopharma salaries okay so first things first why you should know this because this knowledge will actually help you earn more because when you know the salary ranges you know what salary which company will be giving it what designation in which country it will be better for yourself to you know prepare for it from today itself okay now like i have always told in my previous videos also united states is what United States is the biotech capital of the world. Yes, you heard me right. The biggest of the biggest pharma industries, biotech industries are in USA and at a very advanced stage. But do you know who empowers them? Indians. Yes, you heard me right. A lot of Indians are working in these biotech and pharma companies. And this video I'm making in consultation with a lot of them. So here is something which so here is something which I would like to show. Now, India, the industry is divided into academy and of course, uh, biotech industry and pharma industry. So under academic, you when you do when you're doing a PhD, you are getting a fellowship 31 and 35,000. When you're doing postdoc, it goes up to 54,000. Right. And uh, so the PhD starts at 4.2 lakhs or goes up to 6 lakhs. The postdocs get a salary of 6 lakhs to 10 lakhs and assistant professors goes up to 10 lakhs to 14 lakhs. Various uh, positions are there which is posted on Biotechnica regularly so I will not talk about that. But yeah, so academic is what uh, in, in uh, India, India looks like. Now very interesting observation here is you are in India, industry starting salary is way lesser than academia starting salary and that's the funny part. While in USA, industry always gives you more than what academia gives you. Okay. Now, here is interesting factor about USA. In USA, you have again the same thing, academia, industry, but there is a hype. And the hype is in India. What is the hype? The hype is they think, you think or many people think that if you go to USA, you can be literally printing money. What, whatever you will earn, you'll earn a lot of money but actual thing is whatever you will earn will get spent that's the truth okay now you won't be printing many money so that that hype you should not think about okay i'll talk about the salaries a little later but yeah you won't be printing money yeah whatever you will earn will get spent because there'll be living cost the united states of america is costly there'll be taxes and there'll, there'll be insurance and that is why it will not be like you'll become a millionaire or a billionaire but yeah the lifestyle the uh, salary payouts will be much higher now let's look at the academia in United States of America. Now, what happens there? You have again PhD, postdoc and assistant professor. When you're doing your PhD there, you are actually preparing for your future. The um, scholarship or fellowship ranges up to two, two and a half thousand um, dollars. Uh, that's the PhD thing. Postdoctorate, again, you should take it as a training. You should not think that you will um, get a lot of salary, but yeah, the postdoc salary I have already discussed in another video and uh, the financial implications, all that. So please refer to that. The link is in the description. The next coming to assistant professor, again, it is lesser than the industry, what the industry gives you. So in today's video, basically I'm going to talk in detail about the industry part because here in the academia in US, you get much lesser. So it doesn't make sense because you are in a costly country and you are earning less in academia. That's not good. So basically, if you want to go to US, you should target the industry. Okay. Now, what exactly ha is happening in the industry? Now, here is what it is. Now, there are three types of companies in US. One is contractual CROs. 
another is small startups small r and d companies and then there is big pharma like pfizer and moderna okay so now i'm going to talk about each one of them one by one let's start with contractual now contractual the salary is lesser little better than academia but it will be somewhere same as academia 70000 to 85000 us dollars annually you get now out of this 20% will go as taxes uh, i think um, another uh, $12000 will go in insurance and rest will come in hand as salary so you can imagine it's very less actually so if you want to go for a job in us please do give least preference to contractual unless you are in a hurry now the next is small startups now small startups are companies who are just getting started with their their uh, research and they have very limited funds so what these companies do they have lesser salary it ranges between 90000 us dollars annually to 1 lakh 11000 us do dollars annually now what they do instead is they give you stock options okay now what are stock options they'll give you like okay we'll give you these many shares in the company but 25% of that share you will get in the first year 25% in the next year so they basically want to hold on to you for 4 or 5 years okay that's why they will say you cannot get all the shares in one year you have to hold on for 5 years then only you get all the stock options but that's a very lucrative option because when the company goes public you have a chance of becoming a millionaire or a billionaire so that's that's one thing which you should know now the job security is lesser okay because the company is small and has lesser funding but it's a amazing learning hub okay apart from your phd postdoc if you really want to learn you should work in a startup in us that's the place to be if you want to learn a lot on cutting edge technologies now we'll talk in detail about big pharma now what's happening in big pharma now first things first the latter varies company to company so somebody will say that assistant uh, scientist associate scientist is a higher position than a senior scientist that kind of a confusion happens there so it's always better to ask them so whenever you going for interview please ask what is the corporate ladder you guys are following because you, you may be confused thinking that the principal scientist is higher than associate scientist but it may be ulta so every company there has their own hierarchy their own ladder so please ask okay so basically what kind of uh, positions you will see you will see associate scientist scientist senior scientist scientist 1 2 3 principal scientist application scientist so these are these are the things you will see now what are the salaries you will get so as a scientist in a now this also depends on location which i'll come to it a little later but yeah if you are a scientist you're starting as a scientist you will get a salary of 100000 dollars to 1 lakh 30000 dollars okay so that's the salary now coming to a uh, senior scientist the salary will be a little higher 1 lakh 10000 us dollars to 1 lakh 40000 us dollars that's annual salary but remember whatever you get 20% goes as taxes and then 12000 dollars goes in insurance and after that what you get is your salary okay now scientist 1 2 and 3 little bit higher or lesser depending on the ladder which they are following principal scientist again they will have associate principal scientist senior principal scientist but yeah it varies the salaries will vary so it's very difficult to generalize here but i have given you a range for scientists somewhere higher than that or lower depends on the ladder application scientists again similar now coming to the next part the salary varies city wise so for example you will have a different salary structure for a new york research scientist bay area scientist california scientist and a boston area scientist so the sa salaries will vary depending on the city which you are into okay so don't think that okay what i said is a thumb rule there can be higher salaries but then because the living cost in those cities are high that's why the salaries are high so it depends on the living cost now apart from that big farmers will give you job stability and bonus so th yeah that's about big farmer now i'm going to give you some interview tips which uh, you should remember when you are interviewing now one question which students will always ask can i apply for a job sitting in india to usa if you are a phd postdoc yes you can do that and if you are doing your phd postdoc in usa yes of course you can do that but the transition from industry academia to industry is very critical you must do it don't just sit in academia because industry in us pays you higher you can always switch there now coming back what is the interview tips i am going to give you the first is whenever you are talking you have to show your worth during the interview okay how valuable you can be for the team and for the company if they know your value they they will be ready to show i mean give you any salary which you want so show your talent and how can you help the team if you can prove that yeah 
that's going to work. But whenever you're talking, the first call when you will get, the recruiter will call you, not the technical person. That point in time, please don't give uh, your exact salary that this is what I want. Okay, just give a range. Never give salary expectations. Just give a range. Only give salary expectations to your technical manager, somebody who is a technical person and to whom you have proved your worth during the interview to that person, even in India also, you should do that because a recruiter will just come with a budget. And if he thinks that you are out of budget, reject it. He'll never, not even forward your CV to the technical person. So you have to just reach the technical person. Once you have reached there, prove your worth. Now, the recruiter does not look at your talent. He's bothered about budget. Now, always ask the ladder, otherwise you'll end up applying, even though you're overqualified, you'll end up applying for a lower position and then you'll get lesser salary. So that's one thing. And throughout the process, please be polite. Okay. So that's something about um, USA. Even in India, I have mentioned negotiate, but be polite. And you have to know the range of salary before you go for the interview. Otherwise, you will end up with a lower salary. So this is all about the biopharma salaries and some tips, tricks and techniques which I wanted to share today. I know you have a lot of questions. In fact, um, while I was preparing this flowchart, I was also thinking it's very difficult to include everything in this in this particular flowchart. Otherwise, it will become confusing. So here is what we can do. You put down the comments in the comment section. I will try my best to either reply to them or I will make a video out of them. Here is the deal guys. Put down the comments section. All the questions I'll try to answer them. If some comment re requires me to make a separate video, I will do that. Okay. So this is all about biopharma salaries. This is all about biopharma salaries in USA and India. The India part uh, already discussed in the previous video and uh, the USA part today I discussed. Now you know it. Take an informed decision. Yes, it is very much possible to apply for a job in USA sitting in India. Okay, if you're following Biotechnica Global, that is biotechnica.com. And at the same time, you have to know this that if you are applying there, you have to prove your value, prove your worth. So if you're doing some cutting edge research, you have some cutting edge uh, technologies which you have worked upon, that is going to help you. Now, for everything biosciences, like I told you, Biotechnica is the one-stop solution. So please stay subscribed. Please uh, look out for next videos which we are making. And we are making a lot of videos nowadays. So, uh, you know, I'm not saying you watch all of them, but whichever suits you, please do watch them. Share it with your friends because at the end of the day, together we can and we will make a beautiful biotech universe. Isn't that right? Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.